Estoy haciendo un video y me estás interrumpiendo. Ay, no pasa que ya que ya es tarde. Te la mesa, para estúpido, deja que se quiebre. ¿Qué onda, cabrones? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we are going to try the Cazadores Tequila Seltzers. Well, at least two of their tequila seltzers. This one is new and it is their spicy margarita, but I'll go ahead and tell you guys a little bit more about that in a bit. I'm very excited to try these out because I am starting to slowly kind of sort of get into some seltzers, especially tequila based ones. If you guys haven't checked out my cut water tequila seltzer video, go ahead and check it out. It'll be somewhere around here, but before you go, Go ahead and watch this one first and then check that one out. Or check that one out and then come back to this one. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get started. Hit the music. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, we are going to try Cazadores Tequila Seltzer. I didn't even know they had a seltzers. I actually just went to the store recently and I did not buy these at Total Wine and More. <gasps> Scandalo, what? I know. That's always where I get all my purchases from. However, I was in the neighborhood of a BevMo and I decided to go ahead and check them out. I have shopped at BevMo before and that's where I found these tequila seltzers. And I, you know, the times that I've gone to Total Wine and More, I can't say that I've seen these, uh, but definitely if you guys want to try these out after the video, BevMo is where I purchased them. Now online, you could actually get them for $14.99. Um, they are, ooh, they have a sale going on right now. I say check them out. Uh, regular price is usually $18.99 for their spicy margarita ones, which is this one here. And um, same price goes for their palomas that we have here. So the last videos, as I mentioned, the cut water ones, I tried the paloma and the margarita and I fell in love with them. I thought they were very delicious, very good. Definitely a seltzer that I continued to drink uh, after the video and I've been recommending it to a lot of people so of course when I saw these seltzers because we are in the summer because it is getting hot because we're um, you know going out and about enjoying you know the summer sun people like to drink a lot of seltzers so I figured let's go ahead and try these out because if you're not at the beach then where the fuck you at? <laughs> anyways guys let's go ahead and try these out right now Okay guys, so now that we have them opened, these are, so y'all know I like to talk about the packaging, so let's go ahead and get started on that first. So the boxes are just very simple. They give you your nice little um, preview as to what you're gonna get. It's about four of these in a pack. Yeah, it fits four of them in a pack. And simple packaging for your seltzers. I mean, I don't expect packaging to be extremely fancy or nice or too artistic when it comes to, um, seltzer packages because I mean it's you're, it's just it's the seltzers right let's just go ahead and open these shits up and just drink them and have a good time um, but we're gonna go ahead now the first time that I tried the seltzers on my YouTube channel I tried it with the painted donkey and on that one I went ahead and I put tahini on the rim and we tried to do it a little bit the way that it recommended um, it just wasn't for me the second time around when I did the cut water ones, I put them in the fridge, let them sit there for a few hours, nice and cold, and I enjoyed them. They were really good. Today, we're just gonna go ahead and put them over ice, and we're gonna go ahead and just taste them. I like my seltzers cold. I don't know who drinks them at room temp. If you do, you're a sociopath. I don't know what to tell you. Um, you need help. You need Jesus, and that's just, Pretty much where I'm at <laughs> okay so first we're gonna go ahead and start off with their spicy margarita so as I mentioned their spicy margarita is new based on what I saw at Buffmo um, it had new like splat <laughs> it had new plastered all over their um, their price tag or advertisement whatever you want to call it I don't know I don't work at Buffmo but it does state, Cazadores Spicy Margarita is a journey through the Mexican highlands where the blue agave grows tall and the spice adds an extra layer of flavor to foods and drinks alike. We're looking at about, let's see, I'm trying to see if it gives us any of the, um, of like the calorie, oh, it's 
right here. Ding! David added ding. Ding! <laughs> okay, so when we're looking at this, uh, there's 5.9% alcohol. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see about the cal. It's gluten free, okay. So if you're in California, you could totally have this. <laughs> uh, let's see, it says something picante y refrescante is just what the party ordered. Made with award-winning 100% blue agave tequila, cazadores, and real ingredients, this margarita has enough spice to make any day a Taco Tuesday. And I love me a Taco Tuesday. What's your favorite Taco Tuesday spot? I don't think I have a favorite one. I think I just like the idea of Taco Tuesday. But if I do spend Taco Tuesday at a place more often than not, it would be El Torito. I love their margaritas. Get me a nice pitcher of margaritas and I go, and honey. Um, but let me know what your favorite taco spot is. I'm always down to try new tacos, especially a taco de carnitas. It is my favorite taco. Go ahead and drop it on the comment down below and let me know what spot I have not heard of that I definitely need to try. Let's see. Okay, I think that's it. I was trying to find the calorie intake on here, but I don't. Because I know some people care about, like, that's why they drink seltzers. They only drink seltzers because, like, the calorie intake is not as high or there is no calories. Is that a thing? I don't even know. Um, as y'all could tell, calories is not something I worry about. She's big, bold, and beautiful, baby. I'm fat, P-H-A-T. Pretty hot and tasty fat, honey. But besides the point, let's go ahead and open this up because I know that's why you're here. I know that's why you're here and you want to know if you should buy these so you could go straight to the beach with these. Actually, don't go to the beach with these. Drink responsibly, guys. I don't even think you can take these. Don't do it. Drink at home responsibly. Or if you're going to drink at a friend's house, you know, have a DD. All, that, like, all of that good stuff. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and look at their Cazadores Paloma. I love a Paloma. I have not mastered making the perfect Paloma but it is a goal of mine. I love me a good Paloma. So this one states, let's see, also gluten-free. And it states, the best thing to happen to the Paloma since the Paloma made with, wait, what? The best thing, oh, it does say that. Take two. The best thing to happen to the Paloma since the Paloma made with award-winning 100% blue agave tequila, cazadores, and real ingredients Pop this open at the beach, over tacos, or at your next fiesta. Well, I guess the beach. Hey, listen, I didn't say the beach. They said that it's right here. They said the beach, not me, okay? At the beach, over tacos, or at your next fiesta. There you go, guys. So let's go ahead and open this up and give it a nice pour. Okay, and let me see on Bevmo if there's anything that they talk about. I'm pretty sure we covered it there, but <clears throat> um, no, that's it. This is about the same thing because the I'm um, yeah, it's about the same thing. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead. Oh, see, I'm guys, I have OCD, like the pores need to be like they don't need to be identical, twin sisters. But they gotta be sisters. You know what I mean? Fraternal twins. Anyways. <laughs> okay, guys. Actually, we'll put these here so you guys know which ones I'm trying out. So the first one we are going to try is the spicy margarita. Salud, guys. Okay. Yes. This shit's good. This shit is bussin' respectfully. Gen Z. <laughs> this is good. I'm into it. You definitely get those spicy flavors. Um, you know, it hits you with that little spice in the throat at some moment. But we're here for it. It's, it tastes like the... I mean, it's obviously spicy margarita. It immediately reminds me of your jalapeno margaritas. Um... I don't even know if that's what they're called, but if that's not what they're called, go ahead and comment down below and tell me what the hell they're called. I just know that there's margaritas that have like little pieces of the jalapeno in there. And this is exactly what that tastes like. It's good. I recommend it. Anyways, I gotta stop drinking these because then I'm gonna finish it. The next one we're going to try is going to be the Cazadores Paloma. I'm excited for this one because Cutwater hit it out of the park with theirs. We're gonna see if this 
matches. Salud! Mmm. This is good. You know what though? I will say, right off the bat, before I even drank it, there's this really, really nice aroma to it. I mean, a really nice aroma to it. Very um, flowery, herbaceous. Herba I would say herbaceous is probably the best way that I could describe the scent that I'm getting from this. I don't know if I picked up a scent much from the spicy one. There's not much of a scent there, but with the Paloma, for sure. There, it's a really nice, like, herbaceous, citrusy scent. I really wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. It tastes good, too. I do, it doesn't taste much like a Paloma to me. But then again, well, let me actually hold that thought. It actually, it does. Let me... Okay, so it does taste like a Paloma based on the Palomas that I have tried. For example, like the Cutwater one. I would say I definitely got a more of a, um, a precise taste of what Palomas are. But this is still pretty good. I The scent is just beautiful on this. I can't stop smelling it. It smells really, really, really good. Uh, does it hold up to par with the Cutwater one? I don't know. You're going to have to wait till the end to find out. <laughs> All right, guys. You didn't think the waiting to the end was going to take this long, right, guys? This is a quick, simple little video for you guys because I want you guys to go ahead, pick this up at your local stores because guess what? I 100% recommend these. Casadores, you did a great job. These are really, really good. I really like the flavors. I really like what you have to offer. The spicy margarita and the paloma are both good. However... I will say that my favorite one of the week is going to be the spicy margarita. The spicy margarita, I think, is great. This, I would actually now put tahine on the rim with the spicy margarita. I think you have a really, really good beverage going on right there. Or if you guys want to drink it straight from the can, I would say put it in some chamoy dip or some, um, is it even chamoy? What is I'm sure it is. And if it isn't, fight me. What you gonna do? You still drinking? <laughs> All right, guys. But anyways, as I mentioned, I put it on those dips. I'm not gonna say chamoy because I could be wrong. Candy dips? Now that's gonna bug me all day. Anyways, put in one of those dips with your tahine. Open this up. Enjoy it. You're gonna love it. It's really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 3.5 out of 5. And the Paloma, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 3 out of 5. It wasn't uh, horrible, so the 3 is not even a bad score. It's actually pretty good. I think just based on my experience with the Cutwater one, if I had to pick between the Cutwater and the Paloma, I think I would, and the Cazadores um, for their Paloma versions, I think I would go with the Cutwater one. However, it's still pretty good when it comes to the scent. This smells great though. I will say the scent, a five out of five. This shit smells good. So good. I'm into it. So this is what I'll recommend. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into this week's video. I know it's probably not as long, but I'm trying to keep these short to the point concise. Per si cause I, cause the point is, I'm trying to make these quick and accessible to you guys. It's my mother, everybody. So supportive, so great. So great. Y nunca hace nada. She don't care. Anyways, ya puedo colgar. Bye. I'm in the middle of a video. You know what? I almost didn't answer, but I want you guys to see how my mom treats me. And I'm forced to do this because a bitch is trying to just make it out of the hood so I could leave. So 
So go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because every like, every comment, every share, every subscribe keeps me away from my mother. And we are here for that. We don't want her calling me and harassing me again. All right? For just one like a day, you too could help prevent my mom harassing me. And I would appreciate that. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll go ahead and see you guys next week. Don't forget to go ahead and follow me on all my social media platforms at El Diamani. Big shout out to my editor, David. You're amazing as always. And we will see you guys next week. Drink responsibly.